Adobe After Effects is a powerful program for post effects and compositing, where we can take in our rendered images from 3ds Max and really add some final sparkle to it. To begin, I'll import my footage into the project and get things layered on the timeline into composition. I'll start out by either double-clicking or right-clicking the project window and choosing Import and File. You can alternately go up to File and Import to do the same thing. I've browsed into the Chapter 7 After Effects Images folder, and in here I've put the source images we'll be using for these exercises. I'll bring in all the different pieces, selecting them all, and clicking Import. If you're working with sequences, these should gather and recognize as sequences. In this case, because these are all single images, they'll all just import as footage. When these come in initially, I'm going to leave the alpha as straight or unmatted. I may end up switching this around depending on how things are laying together, but for the moment, a straight alpha is fine. Now I'll get my images on my timeline. In After Effects, you can either make a new composition, right-clicking and choosing New Composition in the project window, and setting up a composition with a size, or drag footage onto the timeline and After Effects will make a composition for you. Because I'm working in a still, I'm going to take the second option and simply drag footage onto the timeline to make a composition in that size. I'll start out with my black and white, dragging the EXR down onto my timeline, and After Effects makes for me a 1280 by 720 composition, knocking out the sky. Now I'll take my ambient occlusion and drag it down as well, right on top of the house. Then I'll take Depth and pull it down underneath and turn it off, and I'll also do the same with Masks, grabbing my Object ID and pulling it down and turning it off here, and then I'll set up a second comp with the Dusk image. For this one, I'll press Ctrl-N to make a new composition, or right-click and choose New Composition in the Project window or under Composition on the top menu. In here, I'm going to let the size be as it came up, 1280 by 720. Because it's a still, the frame rate is somewhat irrelevant, as is the duration. I'll click OK, and now I'm going to drag in the second set of images. I'll pull in my Dusk Beauty shot, take the ambient occlusion and layer it on top, drag the depth in underneath and turn it off, and bring in the object ID as well. Now I've got both comps set up and I can start to think about blending modes and then color correction and post effects such as glow and depth of field. Getting the images in and arranged properly first is the key, making sure you have all your elements so as you start to change blending modes, you see the changes ripple through correctly.